Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today we're about to be heading out to Works Customs and we're finally about to be installing the carbon fiber rear diffuser for the C6. C6 coming close to completion, but I have been dibbling and dabbling and I'm thinking about doing a supercharger. I know, I know, I know. I told y'all I wasn't gonna supercharge it. I know everybody's gonna be like, bro, we knew it was gonna happen. We all knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was possibly gonna happen. Shit, even my girl probably knew it was gonna happen. Did you know it was gonna happen? What? That I was gonna probably end up supercharging the Corvette. You said you didn't need a supercharger. You were like saying it how many times? I didn't. There's a difference between needing it yeah, and I wanting it. I already knew you were gonna do it. Did you, did you need these white counters? Did you need these white counters? You said you wanted to do it for me, cause. But did you? But did you did said, you need you the these other, white counters? You said the other counters weren't gonna work with uh, the flooring and shit, so you wanted but, to do it too. But did you need these white counters? <laughs> Answer the question. No. Exactly. Did you need a tablet on the refrigerator? Hey, that was. Oh no! <laughs> but did you need it? That was you. Did you need it? That's the question. Did you need this sink? Did you need this yeah. sink? I need to watch What was wrong sink. with the other sink? It looked ugly. You did not need this sink. <laughs> she didn't need this sink. Oh. But anywho, like I was saying, we might throw another A and A in there. And the reason behind it, my logic. Is now that the C5 is gonna be fully built, it has a forged piston, it's forged rod, it's forged crank, like everything is fully forged. That motor will probably support over a thousand horsepower once it's done, but that blower won't do it. So my mind, what I'm thinking is if I buy another A and A kid, I can buy the big dad, which is the YSI, I can take my SI unit off of the C5, put it on the C6, have a six, seven hundred horsepower C6 and then have a fucking grande C5 with the YSI setup. So I would literally just be recycling my blower and swapping it over to the other car. So that's my logic on it. But yeah, I am thinking about doing this. So we'll see uh, if we if we go that route, but I kind of want it just for the sounds, man. The car looks so aggressive. I feel like it needs to have the whoosh. I think that would just like make that car have so much more street presence. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, jump, 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 jump. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Good boy. Right now, I'm probably gonna head to Granny's for a minute, and then I gotta go to Works Customs because my package should be getting delivered between 11 and 1. So we're gonna go over there, intercept the package, and then start getting this diffuser on. All right, here, I'm about to go. Bye. Bye. Did you need me to give you a kiss before I left? Yeah. Did you need a kiss before I left? Yeah. We officially dubbed this thing. She has a name now. And her name is El Champo. El Champo the Vetmobile. Get it? Vetmobile, like the Batmobile, but I didn't want to call it the Batmobile Vet, so I'll call it the Vetmobile. Then El Champo because it'd be chomping. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, yeah. For the people in the comments, I be seeing y'all talking about it's not chomp, it's chop. When you hear a car with cam, uh, with a cam or cams, it doesn't sound like chop, 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 chop. It sounds more like chomp, 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 chomp. So if I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If I want to say my car sounds like fucking foo, 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 I can call it foofing. I can be like, this thing is foofing. I don't gotta say it's chopping. I don't have to say it's chomping. I can say it's foofing. Like, who the fuck determined what the car sounds like? Who the fuck made up the word and said you have to use the proper terminology to announce how your car sounds when it's sitting there idling? Motherfucker, if I say it's chomping, the shit is chomping. Chomping, what the fuck is chomping? It's chomping! Wah, 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 wah! 
chopping stupid all right so y'all already know what it is we just pulling up over here at works customs bro i literally just washed this thing it's already hella dirty yo hey, it's that car, bro. jeez it ain't even been out the garage for two hours man damn it's a big ass truck for just a diffuser Bro, they literally made you drive this big ass truck for one box? Oh, I just have to get it out already. Literally the last box on there. <laughs> I'm just open this thing up real quick. Yeah. It's not wrapped, you feel me? It's real carbon. Looks cool. See how it looks on there. So we gotta we gotta take this one off, but for uh, testing purposes. But uh, y'all kind of get the idea. Water. We're Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. I got a couple packets at store. <laughs> <laughs> No lie, we've been here for a couple hours, yep. and this is how tedious and petty he is. I told y'all, told him leave the damn bumper alone. He's still trying to get millimeters out of this thing. Put the damn bumper on. It's fine. Hell nah. <laughs> We ain't, we ain't even got to the diffuser yet. It's all about the fit me, bro. It's coming back off when you painted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get get it all done now, you know? He, he keeps forgetting it's <laughs> getting painted still. All right, so anytime y'all see super vets, usually right here, this part's always sticking up on both corners. That's because the OEM fender has a tab that slides into the OEM bumper. But when you have aftermarket uh, wide body fenders, you don't have that tab anymore. So usually the corners of the bumper pop up and that's what we were dealing with before. But after a bajillion hours of trimming and f uh, major finessing, he actually got him to sit flat. So yeah, this one and lay flat. That one still needs some fucking work, but you know. It's a way better than what it was. Hood opens up. Check it out. Yeah, go ahead. Open that thing. Doesn't hit the bumper no more. Alright, now to get that little corner down. Look at that. Oh, it just too. closed down by itself. <laughs> damn, look at that. Damn, damn, like that. That's the first time it ever did that. There you go. See, perfect tipping today. Yeah, pop that thing again. <laughs> let's try that. Let's try that one one more time. That closed like OEM. There you go. <laughs> well, this one, all we gotta do is bolt this up and we should be able to make this sit there. Yeah, cool. We'll get there with the fit like the bow. Like that bow? Yeah, like the bow. <laughs> Alright. And there it is. Front bumper is. It ain't getting no flusher than this, yo. Like, a lot better than before, I'll tell you that. Bro, it was like. Sticking up probably like a quarter of an inch before. Yeah, now that shit works. You ready? Da, da, da. Da, da. No smacking no more. Yep. No more catch. Come on, come on. Ooh, two times, baby. Two times. Two times. Okay. High five. <laughs> Alright, so the owner of the BMW is here right now. And <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, so we, we got like poles and everything going on right now. He, this man just tried to say that the boondocks was better than Dragon Ball Z. You know what it is. It's yes, not. Sir. It's not. Stop playing with these fake ass niggas. I'm a real ass nigga. Boondocks all day. If you ain't rocking with boondocks, Dragon Ball Z all day. Dragon Ball Z all day. And then after after we I posted a poll on IG, his poll was getting destroyed saying Dragon Ball Z was better than Boondocks. He had the nerve to say bags was better than coilovers. Yes, sir. That poll right now is at 100% for coilovers, 0% for bags. So my nigga taking a major L right now. I don't want to go to this.
Let me get that in. Let me get that in. <laughs> bags. Yeah. We don't do those. What you running? Bags or coilovers? Bro, I'm going to stay neutral here. You know what I'm saying? Got Respect. Respect. Out here. Bags or coilovers? Bro, I got coilovers on my car. Right? Bags or coilovers? Coilovers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you losing, bruh. You losing, bruh. Yo, bag boondocks is losing. Man, from now on, hey, from now on, this car is gonna be officially dubbed Bag Boondocks on uh, on YouTube. We're gonna call this the Boondock Bag. That's what we about to dub this thing. The car is sick. Y'all seen this car plenty of times in my videos. It's the one that's every time we come here and they moving it out, it's hella loud. It's a dope build, but. I still say stay uh, coilovers. You feel me? Coilovers. Bag, nigga. Oh, you got you got a, you got a bag with a stock strut. Bag. No, no, no. Bag. No, 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 no. Overall, clean car though. It's definitely a clean car. Huh? Minus minus his bags. Everything else is dope on there. <laughs> You said your Datsun. Right here, the truck. Look at the back. Man, it's a lowrider. You Mexican. You that's a, you building a lowrider. It's the difference between bags. Hey, there's a difference between bags and hydraulics. Hey, is you, hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Is it? Answer me this. Is it bags? Is it bags or is it hydraulics? Does that shit bounce? That shit is a Datsun truck. Does it bounce? I am Hispanic. Are you? Are you making it bounce? Answer that. No, I want to make that shit hit the ground. So it's a lowrider. No, that shit's just bad. So you say his car's a lowrider then? No. <laughs> if you ask lowrider guys, hey, what does your car have? Bags, they're gonna be your hella gay. Yeah, yeah. So you said he's, you said, you said he's gay. No, lowriders don't like bags because that's not a lowrider. So you got bags on your truck? Yes, and, it, and it, it's not a lowrider. So are you admitting that it's though? <laughs> I was like, where's he going no, with this? No, no, no. Like, where's, the, where's the turnaround? Where's he, where's he doing? Hey, Damn, it's the only place you can go and you get food and your car worked on, yo. Yup, custom everything out here. Custom sandwich to fit your <laughs> hunger. <laughs> That's gonna be the motto. Rotisserie chicken, you know what I'm saying? Not no slabs of just pre-cut stuff. Just dice it over here by ourselves. <laughs> good, good. Oh boy, if you had a beard, you would have burnt that thing <laughs> off. I done it before. <laughs> you never had a beard. Oh. <laughs> Got him. He felt like a man for a second. Took his man card right there. So this is kind of what it's looking like. It's starting to go on now with the carbon rear diffuser. Not too bad. It's just kind of awkward not having the, the reverse lights, but I think uh, I'm gonna figure out a new route for the reverse lights versus cutting into this and then trying to make brackets. Oh yeah, we already getting started. So yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like. We'll get a better view of it later. So I don't know how it happened, but somehow it happened. But uh, the last clip of me showing y'all the diffuser for some reason didn't go through. So I'm gonna do a little last little clip to show y'all. This is how the diffuser is looking. It's definitely a bit more aggressive than the stock one. You guys can see the stock one right over there. The fins don't come down as low as this one. But the thing I like about the stock one is it did have the reverse lights in there. But um, it's not like a deal breaker for me. But overall, this thing does look good. It is a fully functioning diffuser. So underneath, it has a, um, a section that goes all the way to the diff. Normally with this, it goes all the way underneath, literally to the diff and, and mounts there. But what I did was I ended up cutting it all the way out at the bottom. Cut my, uh, cut some of the section out right there. And then had a slit with clamps to make it to where I just wrapped the clamps around the sway bar. You guys can see right in there. That way it's just 
you know, not in the way and I can still jack this thing up. This diffuser is by the same company that makes the wide body for my C6. They also make the wide body that you guys seen that I have on the C5. We're gonna be wrapping this up though. Thanks for everybody that's tuned in. Let me know, do you like this? Do you not? Do you prefer bags? Do you prefer coilovers? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady, speed limit 65, I'm about to do 80, fuck the niggas hating on, I've been on the